Hello everyone, this is Ms. Jordy, the Young Adult Librarian at the Headquarters Branch. Thank you for joining me for part two on our destination to Los Angeles, California. California is known for its beautiful beaches, as well as for its produce. Did you know that 90% of the strawberries grown in the U.S. originate in California? Did you also know that California is the leading producer of domestic avocados and home to about 90% of our nation's crop? Today, I'm going to show you how to make recipes using strawberries and avocados. Not only are these recipes healthy for you, but they taste great as well. Our first recipe is the California Dreamin' Smoothie. After I made this for the first time, I was pleasantly surprised at how good it tastes. It's great to drink for breakfast or a snack. To make the California Dreamin' Smoothie, you will need the following ingredients. One cup of low-fat peach yogurt. If you don't consume dairy products, you can substitute a non-dairy yogurt that is peach flavored. One half cup of strawberries. One banana. Three ice cubes, if they're big, if they're thin or small, you could use five instead. And optional, you can use one tablespoon of wheat germ or flax meal. If you don't have a high speed blender like a Vitamix, you will need to chop up your ice cubes first with your blender. But if you have a Vitamix, you can add all of the ingredients together and then blend. So since I have a Vitamix, I'm going to go ahead and add all of my ingredients. But if you have a low speed blender, once you chop up your ice cubes, then you can add your yogurt. Then your fruit. your wheat germ. For this demonstration, I use flax meal. And then blend on high until smooth. Once blended, pour into a glass and enjoy. I found this next recipe for avocado toast in an article stating that Prince Harry's wife, Meghan Markle, had posted this on her former blog, The Tig, several years ago. Meghan is a Los Angeles native, and from what I've read, she is also a great cook. So I thought her recipe would be a great one to try, and I was right because it's so delicious. To make Meghan Markle's avocado toast, you will need one fresh avocado, a lemon, feta cheese, Salt, I'm using pink salt for this one, but just regular table salt, or you can use sea salt. Multi-grain bread, anything that has like, anything that has like 12 grain multi-grain bread. Red chili flakes if you like spicy. And pumpkin seeds, which is another term for this pepitas. When you're picking out avocado from the grocery store, give it like a little, nudge, just put apply pressure to it, make sure that you feel it give in a little bit. If it's give in too much, that means it's overly ripe and you don't want to buy that. If it's like rock hard, you can still purchase it, but you can ripen it in a paper bag with an apple or banana and let it sit for like two to three days until you can feel like a little light pressure to it and then you know that it's right. Okay, so the first step is you want to start here from like a little pit here and you want to cut your avocado vertically. So we're gonna go down go all the way around Twist it and twist it open. Now I let this ripen a little bit too much so you can see it's a little brown, but it's still good. It's still green on the inside, which is good. It hasn't overly ripened too much. So we're going to, as you, to get out the seed, you just want to take your knife and give it a hard hack and then just turn it. And 
and we're going to take a spoon and just scoop out the fruit of the avocado. And put it in our bowl here. I'm going to do the same for the other half. Next step, we're going to add a sprinkle of feta cheese. And you just do it to your liking. If you don't like feta cheese, you can just omit this part. The neat thing about um, making avocado toast is you can really just customize it to, to your liking. It's really, what I've seen with different recipes, really no wrong way to do it. Open the lemon. I'm just going to use my lemon squeezer and just put like a squeeze of lemon in here. If you don't have a lemon juicer, you can just use your hand and just be careful not to you know, take out the seeds first so you don't get any seeds into your avocado mixture. Okay, next step is to add some red chili flakes if you like spice. And because I don't care much for spicy foods, I'm just going to add just a little bit just to give it some flavor. And then you add salt to your taste. I'm just going to lightly so I don't want to put too much. Okay, and then now you want to mix it all together. Just gently mix it. Let you know have any more lumps in your mixture. Once it's well mixed, you can just give it a taste to see if it's to your liking. So you need to add a little bit more salt, a little bit more red chili flakes if you're using that, or some more lemon juice. I'm just going to add a little bit more lemon to my taste, but. I think it has enough salt. And just mix again. Okay, just better. Once you're satisfied with the way it tastes, now you want to toast your bread. Toaster, toaster oven, whatever method you want to toast it. Once you've toasted your bread to your liking, now you can add a scoop of the avocado mixture to your bread. You can put however how much on here as you would like. Avocados are a good source of healthy fats. Could this be something good for you to eat for breakfast or have as a snack or even for brunch? And if you want a little crunch to it, you can add pumpkin seeds. Draw some called fajitas. I'm just gonna add just a little a few sprinkles. I'm gonna add a few sprinkles.
close to mine. And you can customize this however you want to. You don't want pumpkin seeds. You can also add a fried egg or a scrambled egg on top. You can also add a slice of bacon along with the fried egg. So just have fun with it and create your own unique version of avocado toast. If you prefer a simpler avocado toast recipe, all you will need is one ripe avocado, two slices of bread of your choice, sea salt, and black pepper. And if you prefer, you can use extra virgin olive oil and one fresh lemon. To start, toast the bread to your liking. While your bread is being toasted, slice avocado in half, remove the seed, and scoop out the flesh into a bowl. Then match the avocado very well with a fork. Then add sea salt and black pepper to your taste. If preferred, you can add a squeeze of lemon juice into your mixture. Then spread your mixture into your hot toast. And then you can add a drizzle of olive oil on top if you prefer. Thank you so much for joining me on our virtual trip to Los Angeles, California. I hope you'll join me on our next destination to the continent of Asia, where I'll recommend some great YA books that are set in Asia and show you how to make boba tea, which originated in Taiwan, and mango lassi, which is a traditional Indian drink. And they are two of my favorite things to buy at the Arts in the Heart of Augusta Festival. Until next time.